Welcome to this tutorial on how to install ROS on Windows on your Windows machine. ROS on Windows is a new way to run ROS natively on Windows. You can find all commands and links that I use in the tutorial in the video description. Things you'll need for this tutorial, a 64-bit version of Windows 10 with at least 10 gigabytes of free space. It's also important that your computer is updated to at least version 1809, which you can see here that it is. And you can also check that you're running a 64-bit version of Windows uh, on the same page. So we're good to go here. And we will download Visual Studio 2017 Community. Uh, here I'm typing it out, but you can get a link to this page in the video description to copy and paste. So we'll click download. You'll save the file, run it, and the installer will download additional files. I've already run this before. So it has already downloaded and installed uh, everything it needs to. So on the installation page, uh, the only thing you need to check is the C++ desktop development and install that. Uh, this will take some time. We'll set up a shortcut to run ROS. You'll use this uh, command prompt shortcut to um, start any uh, terminal that you would in any of the ROS tutorials. We'll copy and paste the uh, path for the community version of Visual Studio, since that's the one we installed. And we'll change the shortcut to always run as an administrator, which is required to run ROS. So we'll open the terminal with a command prompt. We'll next install Chocolatey Package Manager, which is uh, Windows Package Manager for the command prompt. It's similar to apt uh, if you're coming from a Ubuntu background, but it basically allows you to install packages through the command prompt quickly and easily, uh, which is especially handy for ROS, since most things are done in the command prompt or terminal. And finally, we will install git through uh, the chocolatey package manager. Now before continuing uh, on with the text tutorial, I discovered that you really need to change the cache location of Choco uh, for the installation to be successful. All you have to do is run this command, so Choco config set cache location with a capital L and uh, then whatever the new cache location is. I chose uh, a temporary folder on my C drive. Uh, can really be anything that you're comfortable with um, and uh, proceed with the ROS installation. We'll now add a source for Chaco and use Chaco to install the full desktop version of ROS Melodic. After running this command, all the dependencies that ROS has will be downloaded and installed on your computer, and this will take quite a bit of time. So once that completes, ROS should basically be uh, ready to go and installed. A quick way you can test that is to run uh, the command ROS core. Uh, you can see that it uh, does not recognize that as a valid command because we first need to run the uh, setup script for ROS. So if we 
input that into the command prompt, um, it will return, and we can then start ROS core. And it now recognizes that as a valid command. So we can open another command prompt and um, again uh, source the uh, setup.bat file. Uh, and this time uh, try a different command, ROS topic list. And we can see it successfully outputs uh, two topics that are published by ROS core. Since uh, typing the uh, setup.bat command is tedious, we can go ahead and edit our shortcut that we made for ROS to include um, the sourcing of that command by adding uh, two ampersands and the command itself in the target field. So now when we open it, uh, we can see that we no longer need to type that out. ROS topic list is a valid command as recognized and we have successfully installed ROS on Windows. If you run into any problems, leave a comment on this video, or you can check the ROS on Windows GitHub page, and check this page for any updates to this tutorial, information about ROS on Windows and how it compares to ROS on Linux, and other tutorials on how to use our robots with ROS on Windows.